Hi folk, I want to speak to you out of the book of Genesis from chapter 37 through to 41 on a guy's life that can help us in lockdown right now. And his name is Joseph. Now his life um, goes way beyond Genesis 41 right through to the end of Genesis. But you know, Joseph's life can help us in the world that we're living in right now. And I'll explain. If you're feeling a little bit confused, lonely, bored, right at this moment, Joseph's life, I believe, can help us. Spare a thought for him. He's an interesting guy. He wears designer label clothes. His parents are well known in the community until some misfortune comes his way, all because Joseph had a big mouth. You know, we need to watch our words because the words we use build a house that we live in. Joseph was given a dream about his future and blabbed it to anyone and everyone who would listen. You know, some things that God reveals to us are seasonal and better left unsaid. His brothers despise him because of this dream that he shares with them. They push him down a well. They betray him. He's eventually sold as a slave and placed on the auction block in a place in a country called Egypt. I'm sure he was totally humiliated when they looked through his hair looking for lice and for fleas, poking and prodding him. Eventually he's sold off to a guy called Potiphar who makes him a house cleaner. But the Lord was with Joseph. And in this time, the Lord is with you. The Lord made him prosper. Would you believe in this difficult time? The favor, if you read 37, chapter 37 to 41, you see the, fa the Bible says the favor of God was with Joseph through this difficult time. The favor of God is on your life all because of the cross of Calvary. You and I were judged in Christ and now we live free. God is with you in your isolation, possibly misfortune that you've experienced job-wise and cash flow-wise at the moment. God has got this. You've been thrown a curveball, but he's seen that curveball from the beginning of time, and he's got this, and he's going to take you through it. Now, he said, Jesus said, I'll never leave you, neither will I forsake you. Now, Joseph was a dreamer, not someone that falls asleep in the classroom type dreamer. God gave Joseph spiritual dreams and the gift of interpreting dreams. And it wasn't just Joseph's dream that helped him, that kept him going. It was the favor of God on his life. Now, Potiphar, interestingly enough, Potiphar made him overseer of his house and all that he had. That was a small picture of what was to come down the track for Joseph. You see, your gift will make way for you and take you before great men. Don't despise small beginnings. Now, Joseph is thrown into jail. Uh, there was an incident with Potiphar's wife. Uh, Joseph was totally, uh, um, uh, totally uh, uh, not guilty of the crime, but he's thrown in jail anyway. Joseph was sold for his dreams and eventually promoted by his dreams. Listen carefully. The very thing that prevents you can be the very thing that in time promotes you. You know, if ever there was a, a prime case for the onset of poor mental health due to isolation, due to loneliness and anxiety, it would be Joseph. Yet Joseph, after a series of being overlooked, basically left in the jail to rot, forgotten by his cellmates, survives the horror stretch. In Psalm 105 verse 18, the psalmist just gives us an incredible picture of what happened when Joseph was locked in irons and sold off as a slave. It says in the Amplified Version, iron entered into Joseph's soul. That's his mind, will and emotions. And I'm believing during this time of isolation that God's, God's going to put 
ironing your soul. He's going to keep your will, your mind, and your emotions safe and healthy through this time. You feeling lonely and set aside at the moment? Well, God's going to do that for you. He's going to put iron in your soul. Now, Joseph eventually is released from jail because he interprets Pharaoh, the president of the nation, the king of the nation. He interprets his dream. And Joseph's released from jail. He, in one day, he exchanges his prison garb for a prince's robe. He's given a signet ring, which speaks of authority. A gold chain is placed around his neck, neck in exchange for the iron neck brace. And Pharaoh declares, remember what Potiphar said? Pharaoh declares over Joseph, you shall rule over my house and all my people. Loneliness was exchanged for largeness. Anxiety for elation. Misfortune for fortune. Dishonor for honor. God has got what you're facing right now. Be encouraged. This too will pass. Let not your heart be troubled. God bless.